Public Administration 101, proudly brought to you by Carno Consultants, for professional advice you can trust. In this series of Public Administration 101, we will focus on the Municipal Finance Management Act, or MFMA in short. But first let us explain what is a municipality and why is it important in the running of the government. A municipality is a city, town, or a district that usually forms part of the local government. Municipalities are focused on growing local economy and providing infrastructure as well as basic services to the residents of the town, or the district. In the South African context, municipalities are created in terms of the constitution, which provides for three categories of municipality, namely, Category A, Category B and Category C municipalities. Category A municipalities are referred to as metropolitan municipalities. Category B municipalities are referred to as local municipalities. Category C municipalities are known as district municipalities. South Africa currently has 278 municipalities, comprising of 8 metropolitan municipalities, 44 district municipalities and 226 local municipalities. In order to ensure service delivery and the proper management of the municipal finances, the South African government introduced the Municipal Finance Management Act, or MFMA in short. The MFMA aims to modernize budget and financial management practices, in municipalities, in order to maximize the capacity of the municipalities, to deliver services to all their residents, customers and users. The Municipal Finance Management Act, is also the cornerstone of budgeting and financial management reforms in the country. Cause, it, 1, governs the municipal budget, and financial reporting process, and, 2, provides the legal foundations for the municipal budget, and reporting regulations. The MFMA is based on five principles, which are, 1, to promote sound financial governance by clarifying the different roles and responsibilities. Two to ensure a strategic approach to budgeting. 3. To modernize financial management. 4. To promote a cooperative and consultative way of governance. And 5. To promote sustainability within the local government. These underlying principles are consistent with other laws applicable to the local government, and they are intended to encourage a robust, better managed, and more accountable financial management in the local government. The reforms introduced by the Municipal Finance Management Act, lay the foundation for reforming municipal financial management. The reforms further ensure that the regulations dealing with supply chain management, public-private partnerships, minimum competency requirements of municipal finance officials, and asset transfers are in place. Each reform therefore aims to build on the foundation laid by previous initiatives, taking into account the time needed for municipal systems and practices to change. Other reforms introduced by the Municipal Finance Management Act, include, the introduction of budget and reporting regulations, the introduction of standard chart of accounts, the strengthening of revenue and cash management policies, processes and procedures, the strengthening of non-financial reporting to facilitate value for money evaluations, and, the regulations for financial misconduct. The Municipal Finance Management Act also promotes, and requires, accountability in each step of the financial process, including, integrated development plan, budget, service delivery and budget implementation plan, financial reporting, annual financial statements, annual report, and oversight report, to be fully aligned. Despite the extensive measures taken to assist municipalities to comply with the Municipal Finance Management Act, through training, information manuals, technical assistance programs, as well as, much-needed expert consultants that have been made available to municipalities, the level of non-compliance is still significantly high. Much of the non-compliance has been attributed to 1. Lack of effective leadership 2 poor internal controls, 3. Poor governance, and 4. Inadequate systems and skills. When properly implemented, the Municipal Finance Management Act can assist municipalities by promoting better accountability, oversight and transparency, by improving clarity on the roles and responsibilities of municipal councils 
by promoting a more strategic approach to financial management, through the linking of the municipal budget, the IDP and resources. By advocating, for the separation of roles and powers between, the people responsible for oversight, and the officials responsible, for management, and operations. By improving financial reporting, in order to better inform the council, and the communities, of the financial decisions, and the progress made in implementing the objectives previously set out. Municipal Finance Management Act also helps municipalities to 1. Establish a new performance-based management culture. 2. Encourage municipalities to have better measurable outcomes. 3. Help ensure realistic revenue expectations, to ensure that outcomes can be achieved. Borrowing can also not be used to fund operating shortfalls. This is another lesson in public administration, proudly brought to you by Carno Consultants. For professional advice you can trust. Share this video, and remember to like it, and subscribe to our channel for more content.